You have to let me in there. This is the room, 207. But I... This is the room Lily was in. Ugh, <sighs> fine. Sorry to, you know, break it to well, you that's now, but... Weird. This key is supposed to open every room in the building, but it's not working. Beauty! Ah, oh, shit. Please? No way. Big B? How could the you heck do this to me? No, sweetie, no. Wait a minute. How could you do oh, this? Oh, this looks bad. Been together through everything. This looks I really, really bad. I love it's not what you think. Please. Alright guys, so welcome back to another video of the channel and welcome back to gameplay number 3 aka the ending for episode 2 for The Wolf Among Us. Guys, we learned in a prior video that Georgie, he knows a little bit more than what he led us to believe. He actually had a book that logged all the activities for all the girls he's directing and he might have more clues onto what happened to Lily. And in a prior video, a door weirdly opened up all of a sudden. So guys, I'm really interested to see what was behind the door. So let's go ahead and jump in. As always, be appreciate to drop a like, comment, subscribe, and share the video show a cool thing. And also, be appreciate to drop a comment let me know what you guys thought of today's video. With that being said, I'm going to see you guys in a bit. Let me know what you guys thought about this ending. I'm going to see you guys soon. Bye for now. I log the business, take my cut, and I'm out. Now, I've had quite enough of you and your bullying. Excuse me while I call your superiors to make a complaint. Why did that door open? Hmm. Hello? Business office? What's behind here? Now let's see. Lily's is empty. Hmm. Faith? Oh, Faith. Lock's been busted open. Hmm. Emptied out? Or Broken dumped open, out? But there isn't even a lock. Now what's here? Faith, thanks for covering for me tonight. Let's talk before you go over to the apartment. Lily. Looks like Maybe this could have happened before Lily went to the... No, Faith went to the woodsman? Hmm. So Lily Lipstick was the last person to see the wood... Glitter. Lily was the last person to see Faith before she went to the woodsman. I guess. I think that's a fair assumption. Hmm. Guess we'll just leave that. I think we're good here. Hmm. Excuse me. I heard you out there. I, I don't just broke a cake. I remember ever seeing you here before. Hmm. I didn't have a reason to come here before. Yeah. You're trying to place me. They used to call me the Little Mermaid. Little Mer- No! Once upon a time. Does that help? Um... What do they call you now? Ariel? Whatever makes them happy. Oh, she sure used to be the Little Mermaid? Well, Nerissa, I've got some questions. Of course you do. I don't have answers. You'll have to find those yourself. Hmm. Did you see Lily last night? You know, where she went or who she was with? We can't talk about work. This is a murder case. I mean can't. These lips are sealed. Discretion is our guarantee. Alright. It's how things work here. Hmm. By design. People keep using those phrases. What does it mean? This is what I need to know about. Lily's last entry. Who's Mr. Smith? Where's room 207? I have to know. 
these lips. Sheriff Wolf, would you like to make an appointment with me? She's trying to say something. What's 207? Um. Hmm. Okay. I'll go what along with it. Do. I need 150. It's not good to be short. I don't think we got that much. Do we even have okay. any? Oh, I, uh, I don't. Uh... We should have took the money from Toodle D. Wait here for a second. As bad as it sounds, we should take the money from Toodle D. Two o four, not two o seven. You'll think of something. I bet it's going to get us closer to the location, though. Open arms. Hmm. This is where they met. Enjoy your stay. I hope you find what you're looking for. All right, made them cry. Let's see, complete chapter four of episode two. Nice. I guess it's a pretty common spot. Hmm. So this is where it all went down. All right, let's see. Um, let's start with if the rooms are anything like the lobby, they should cut their rates. Dang it. All right. They should probably repair that. Okay. Hmm. Let's go ahead and just ring the bell. Want it by the hour or for the whole night? Beauty? Oh, uh, Beauty. I work here, okay? I work the front desk. It's to help pay rent. Oh. So, now you know. I know I should have told somebody, but Beast would lose his mind if you knew. Why can't you tell Beast? Beast is a proud man, Bigby. He wants to do right by me, and he, he just couldn't handle it if he knew I had to do this so we don't get evicted. All, all right, then. Friends I won't the say woodlands. anything. He'd be mortified. Well, your secret's safe with me, all right? Let's not make a big thing of it. Thanks, Bigby. And thanks for covering for me last time, too. So, what are you doing here? Hmm. Oh, you have a key. Someone else was murdered last night. I heard. The victim was someone who worked at the Pudding and Pie. Lily. She, uh... Come around here ever? Oh, oh, yes, the, the troll. I did see her. I mean, you know, we never really spoke, but she came off a tad intimidating. All right. Hmm. Let's see. Ever meet a girl named Faith? Or just maybe hear that name? I might have. I don't know. By the end of the night, it's, it's kind of a blur with all the names. Tara, Brandy, Amber, Heather. Sorry. It's okay. Hmm. Ever see Lily with someone here? Maybe on a job? Sometimes, but nobody I've recognized. I haven't worked here that long, though. How about a room register? Or someone named Mr. Smith? 
<laughs> That's all we get here, Smiths, Jones, or Johnsons. I think the last ones are jokes. Alright, so it is a fake name. Hmm. I talked to Tweedledee earlier today. He mentioned you in passing. Do you know him? Or his brother? I took out a loan. For back pay. It was like our third notice. And ever since then, those annoying freaks have been pestering me for the money, plus interest. Why take out a loan from those two? It was from the crooked man. Beauty. You don't know how desperate I was, Bigby. I had nowhere else to go. Look, if this ever happens again, come see me or Snow first, alright? I tried. Oh. Alright then. Have you seen Snow White down here? Or maybe somebody glamoured as her. You know, it's funny. I did see someone who I thought looked a lot like her, but she didn't say anything when she saw me, even though she knew that I saw her. I just assumed it wasn't snow and went about my business. Well, you're right about one thing about that. Wait, it'll be better if anyone sees you that they at least see you with me, so they know that I didn't let you just wander around by yourself. Alright then. Five minutes, please. We'll see, beauty. Just be ready to act like I'm trying to kick you out. That won't be hard. Listen, Bigby. Hmm. I assume you'll be filing some kind of an official report or something. Which is fine, it's just that I was wondering if I need to be in it. Do you have to mention my name? I mean, it's, it's not like Beast would ever see your report. It's just, well, you never know. Don't worry about all it. Alright, alright, no Unless problem. I have to write down the better. Thanks. I appreciate it. Well, here we are. Which one was it? It was 204, but I need 207. So, let's go ahead and try to listen in on 207. This is the room. Hmm. You have keys to these rooms? I thought you had a key. Not to this one. Hold on, Bigby. I can't just let you go into any room you want. Seriously, what if someone found out? I could get into a lot of trouble. You have to let me in there. This is the room, 207. But I... This is the room Lily was in. Ugh, <sighs> fine. Sorry to, you know, break it to well, you now, but... that's weird. This key is supposed to open every room in the building, but it's not working. Beauty! Ah, oh, shit. Beast? No way. Big B? How, How could the you heck do this to me? No, sweetie, no. Wait a minute. How could you do oh, this? Oh, this looks bad. Been together through everything. This looks I really, really bad. You. I love... It's not what you think. Please. You're cheating on me? With him? No, oh, no. no. I promise. I'm not. I'm helping him. That's all. Oh, that doesn't sound good. I'm sure you help each other just great. I know what this place is. Relax, Beast. It's not what you think. Stop lying to me! What the fuck is wrong with you? She's my wife! Beast, listen to me. There's nothing going on. I'm this bad. does look pretty bad. Hey, bastard! I guess I finally see you for who you are. Stop! Stop it! You told me you hadn't seen her, you fucking liar! Oh. You've been sleeping with her this whole time! We don't have to do this. Just calm down and- Beast! Come on, Beast, no. What the hell do you think you're doing? You aren't even listening to me! She's my wife, Big on. Got it. Ooh. Stop. Come on. Sorry about that. This is my fault. Oh, look at Bigby turning. Come on. I thought I mashed the button time. Oh. 
hate I have to do this to you, Beast, Maybe but... No! Don't hurt him! I don't want to hurt you. Oh, come on! <gasps> I was just trying to be nice. You or civil, at least. Everything! She's my fucking... Hey, you know what? At least we got the room open. <sighs> oh, no. Shit, Bigby. What have you done? What? Your eyes healed? What is this? Bigby. Look what you did to the door. You can't just act like this whenever Stand you... Stand back. You, you don't want to see this. Oh, no. So it happened here. Beauty, stay in the hall. What? Why? What's going on? Why you come closer after I said <gasps> that? Oh my god. Don't touch anything. Is this... Is this... Lily met her client here. Mr. No. Smith. Whoever he is. And then... Must have happened right here. Jesus. Last night? Yeah. I was on shift last night. On shift? Beauty? That sounds bad. What? I'm not a prostitute, you idiot. I work the front desk. I... So that's... Hmm. Yeah. Still, this is no place for someone like you. I mean, look. Do you remember who rented this room last night? I don't think anyone did. Not last night. Maybe they have it long term. I don't know. How am I supposed to know? It just seemed like a totally normal night. How is that even possible? There's so much blood. Go lock the front door. Keep people out of the hallway. I need you to be sure no one comes in here. This is a crime scene, okay? But just do what he says. I'll explain later, okay? This looked really bad though. Dang it. The Maybe whole situation with Beauty and the Beast. I kinda of totally understand like this. that. That's exactly what I'm about to try to find out. Hmm. I can't believe this. Do all the rooms have these same clocks with the built-in cassette player? I think so, yes. Hmm. Could we get fingerprints on this? We probably could. Is there a new dialogue? Yeah, there is. Guess there's we nothing in the cassette player. What's this? What is that? It's a book about Snow White. Or oh. about the money version of her story, anyway. Alright. The whole book is about her? Yeah. Someone seems pretty interested. Why is she in a glass coffin? This is the part where she's in a deep sleep, but they think she's dead. Hmm. Anything else? I think that's it. Let's see. So the person smoking. It's a huff and puff. I thought you were the only one who smoked that crap brand. Oh! Apparently not. Why you had to come at me like that? He brought wine. Classy. Hmm. For my arrival? Alright. I guess that's good. We have a cassette player. <sighs> oh! Someone's been rough with this dress. It's torn. Dang it! Oh no. She must have been wearing it. He killed her and then... And then he took it back off? No, there's no blood on it. It must have been torn some other time. What is it? Hmm. This is the same dress as the one in the book about snow. I think Smith was dressing Lily up in it to recreate the snow from the book. You're right. It's the same dress. I guess he wanted to get the details right. God, role playing as a person who really exists, who we know. That's just weird. I'm not sure who to feel worse for. Okay, no, I take that back. All right, but it's weird God. because when we found the body, it was just in Snow White, you know, normal clothes. I guess now 
Well, actually, there's more dialogue. Hmm. Do you smell something? No. Just apple. Huh. Who what? took the bite? What are you thinking? Hmm. It's got a single bite taken out of it, like in Snow's story. Oh, no. Do you think it was poisoned? It wasn't. I'd have smelled that. I think it's just a prop. It's here because they were acting out the scene in the book. Of course. That makes perfect sense. It fits. He's acting out scenes from the book. That poor girl. And when was there a scene in the book she where, you know, there was blood all over the bed because he got murdered? She could have been anyone. How did she wind up here? I mean, not exactly here, but just hmm. how does a person... I don't know what, how to respond I guess to that. It doesn't matter now. Alright, let's see. Anything so else? Scared. What's the flowers? Where'd oh. you get that? Lily had it in her hand. In case there was any doubt over who died here. Hmm. Oh no, there's more? What? What now? Hmm. It looks like Snow's coffin from the book. He's reenacted the scene with her lying here, surrounded by flowers. Mr. Smith put Lily to rest here. You're right. The bed is the coffin. He's acting out another part of the book. God, I can see the whole picture now. It, it all goes together like you said. This creep put that girl in a Snow White dress and, and recreated the whole story from the book with the apple and, and the deep sleep and everything. You're a better detective than I thought you'd be. Thanks. So he planned it all out. He had all the details noted down. Only then, when it comes time to kiss her and wake her up. Yeah. I hope you're just about through. I don't really want to stay in here any longer. We got one more piece of evidence to clarify. What's this? I want to check out the cassette tape. They had pictures? Oh, pictures of the dead girl? Not all of them. How do you know? I'm in this one. It was taken last winter. Oh no. Bigby. This kind of stalking, it doesn't just stop by itself. Trust me, I know about this firsthand. He'll keep trying to get closer and closer. His stand-in for Snow is gone now, so... The next step closer. Hold up. Was it me, or was someone what looking through... <gasps> the frame was off for a second. Oh! <gasps> it was a mirror! <laughs> it was Crane? No respect for the dead. He could be after you now. Good. And this is for I episode have died three. I to get my hands on that disgusting weasel. I can't believe it was Crane. No wonder he was kind of, you know, really he was kind of worried like about Lily's shit. body. You're not afraid to be a complete bastard. Obviously, there will have to be some changes. It all makes sense. Hello, Big B. Take care of it, Big B, or I'll take care of it for you. Jesus Christ, Big B. Oh, shoot. You. And this is where the player's choices come in. How do you respond to Crane about Snow's death? You and 60.9% of players sympathize with him. Hmm, how did you treat the murder suspect? So that's total D. You and 62.4% of players persuaded him to talk. Actually, we didn't need to persuade him. 
Or actually, we did, kind of, sort of. He gave us all the answers we needed. Um, did you let Snow come with you to Trip Trap? You and 91.9% of players let her make her own decision, and she chose to come, and, you know, it was actually a pretty good outcome. How did you handle Georgie Porgy? You and 69.9% of players didn't hit Georgie. I was tempted to, but it ended up, you know, with a good outcome. Did you keep punching Beast when he was down? You and 77.8% of players opted not to hit him, hit Beast a second time. Um, I didn't think it was necessary to do so. And with that being said, guys, we made it to the end of it. All right, guys, so that's going to be it for episode two, The Wolf Among Us. Guys, this is turning out to be a pretty crazy story because the person that more than likely or, you know, killed Lily is Crane. And Crane has been with us, you know, throughout the whole time. But it all makes sense, really, you know, for, you know, hmm. Maybe we should have connected the dots earlier when we were inspecting the body because his reaction kind of gave it away. He... He seemed pretty worried when, you know, when he found out Lily was actually a troll. But with that being said, guys, I'm actually curious about, you know, you guys' input on the whole episode. Let me know down in the comment section. And with that being said, as always, be pretty sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share the video all cool things. And drop a comment. Those are always appreciated. And with that being said, guys, as always, I'm going to see you guys in the next video. Talk to you all later. Bye-bye now.